Have you ever been excited to try a new AI technology only to click on that link and land in a GitHub repository? Well, nowadays, a lot of the AI party is happening inside these GitHub repos, and getting into that party can make you feel like a caveman trying to decipher alien technology. Well, today this caveman is going to look that extraterrestrial tech right in the eye. We're going to wrestle it to the ground and make it say uncle. So please join me as I grunt and grumble and channel my inner Fred Flintstone into installing Homebrew, installing Git, installing VS Code, installing Python, creating a virtual environment, uh, installing all the packages we need and getting that repo up and running. We're going to be using Dave Shapiro's reflective journaling repo as our North Star on this wild journey. So I hope you are strapped in. Because it's time to turn from a mere cave dweller into a fully fledged techno Neanderthal. So let's get going. All right, we're going to start here uh, on the Git page. I am running an iMac with Ventura. And you'll notice if you come to the Git page here, it's going to tell you got to install Homebrew first. So stick with me. This stuff is not all that hard. Uh, but this is what we need to put into our command line here. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to open the terminal. I just did the apple and space bar. Terminal. See here, this comes up. I am going to paste in that command. It's going to ask me for my password. I'm going to hit enter. It's installing Homebrew. All right, that took uh, a little while, like three minutes, but uh, I think we should now have Homebrew installed. And we can go back here and install git with this command. Dollar sign brew install git. We'll go back to the terminal here. Paste that in. There you go. I guess no dollar sign there. It is grabbing Git. All right, cool. I think we have Git installed now. Now we got to go grab VS Code. There's a lot of different IDs out there. Uh, this one just seems to come up quite a lot. A lot of people love this. And so this is the one that uh, I'm currently exploring. Um, download Mac Universal Stable Build. Sure, sounds good. Here it is downloading. Unzipped, fire it up. And here we are getting started with VS Code. All right, so I've created a new folder here. I'm going to create an even new folder for this reflective journaling tool. This is one of the repos that I want to explore. Now we're in that. I'm going to open that. Okay. Yes, I trust the authors. This is really cool. The GitHub Copilot is right there. That's something that I'll probably want to 
explore soon um, in a new video. But I think first we've got to uh, install Python packages. Yeah, here we go. So we need to install Python. And there's a lot of cool stuff in here. Um, I think that I think we're installed there. So now we got to go back here to our journaling tool. And we want to get a new terminal fired up here. We're in the right folder. Okay, so we just fired up the new terminal. Now we've got to go get the uh, link to the repository here. So this is the GitHub uh, page and you go to the code and you copy this. Okay, we go back to VS Code here and we do the command git clone and we're going to paste that URL that we just grabbed. We're going to run this. Okay, and it looks like it got everything. And now what I think you should do with every project is create a virtual environment. And I don't need to go into this, or I guess we're not going to go into it right here about what that is, but it's basically containing all of the different packages, all of the different pieces of software for this particular repo in one place. So you don't run into issues later where all the different packages are conflicting with each other. So the command for that is python3 -m -v -e -n -v -e -n -v. There's a few different ways to do it. This is the one that I've found to work creating a virtual environment for um, this specific tool or for this specific uh, repo, I should say. So in here. We're going to run that. We notice a new environment is created. Do you want to select that it for the workspace folder? Sure, why not? Um, so you'll see that here. It appeared here now. So now we're going to activate that environment. And now it's active. You can see that little EMV. Now we're actually in this environment. And now we can install. There's just a couple packages that need to be installed here. This OpenAI and Halo for this repo to run. Uh, so you want to look at your requirements text or somehow figure out um, what packages you need to install. And we're going to do that pip3 install open AI we're installing open AI now into our virtual environment so if we you know ever want to do something different we can um, in a different repo we can use a different uh, a different version of open AI uh, so this is a good thing here. We want to upgrade pip. This always happens. Pip is the command and the process you use to install these different packages. So we want to make sure and make that upgrade. Otherwise, we may run into errors later. Okay, so that worked. Pip3 install dash dash upgrade pip is for my setup what worked in there. So you notice I had the caveman through that and that I am not a, uh, <laughs> a developer. So next package we need, we've got OpenAI installed. Now we need Halo. So pip3 install Halo. And this one, I think it is going to give us some problems. No, it went through just fine. Okay, awesome. Um, 
So the last thing I think we need to do is, oh, we need to, we need to create a file, uh, keyopenai.txt. And that's where we store our uh, OpenAI API key. So these are the instructions here. This is the readme from the GitHub that you need to understand. This is what we're walking through to get this working. I'm going to pause the video, grab that file, be right back. Okay, back now, and I do have that file here, the OpenAI underscore, or key underscore OpenAI.txt with my uh, key in there, my OpenAI API key, which you should probably already know how to how to grab that's covered in almost every video out there. I'm going to save this just to make sure we got that. And um, yeah, so now we're going to go in here. We're back here uh, at the command line and we just need to do pi or pi. I think it's Python three with my setup uh, chat dot pi all right so i had to actually i wasn't in the actual folder i was in just the folder that i created so now i jumped into the actual folder uh, that all of the workspace is in here so that was a bit confusing now i'm going to try to run this again python 3 chat dot pi All right, so it's telling me that uh, I'm missing YAML here, and it took me a second to figure out that I can't just install YAML. I need to install PyYAML. So I'm going to do pip3 install this PyYAML. And there we go. And now I'm going to try that again to run this main script here. This chat pie is the main script to actually start working with this repo. Is that the way so you can see better? Python 3 chat.py. And here it is. So this is the user. Hello. Up oh, and see now it's running into an error because it says the model GPT-4 does not exist. That's because the key that I use does not have access to this model. So we're going to do control C to stop this from running. Okay, so here I am at platform.openai.com. I want to get the exact model. So this, um, I think I should have access to any one of these. I'm just going to do the Okay, I'm gonna grab this GPT 3.5 Turbo. I'm gonna copy and paste that so I have it formatted correctly. I'm going back in here to this chat pie. Uh, this is the file that he's using. Here it is, GPT 4. I'm gonna swap that out with GPT 3.5 Turbo. I'm gonna save that. Coming down to the p terminal again. And I'm gonna go Python 3 chat.py user hello AI hello how are you feeling today look at that we've got it working so that is how a caveman would uh, install first we got to install homebrew then we got to install git then we've got to install VS code, then we got to install Python, then we created a virtual environment, and then we uh, cloned a uh, repository, and we worked through a few kinks in there. We had to install the different packages, and then uh, figure out, hey, there was a couple things, um, you know, that we couldn't run right away, a couple errors. We didn't have YAML installed. We didn't have access to GPT-4. But just through a little trial and error, figured those out and now have access to uh, a really cool repo created by Dave Shapiro. And now to stop this, uh, this isn't a full demo of this repo. This is just, you know, how to get <laughs> access to these. And so I'm going to stop this and then I'm going to deactivate this. Um, 
the virtual environment. And now we're back to where we are and uh, we've kind of closed everything out. So I appreciate you watching this. Uh, I hope it was helpful. Um, really, I'm just going through all this myself and I've been really excited by these repos. So I wanted to show you just my quick caveman approach to how to get into these and start interacting with them. So once again, these are all the steps that we went through. I hope you now feel confident that you can get in there and get through all of this and get some of those awesome new AI technologies running on your local machine. Feel free to check out my Patreon. I have a cheat sheet for this video and all of my videos in my Patreon. So check that out. There's also some Google Collabs in there that are simple pieces of software that can help you run a more efficient organization, learn how to code using AI. There's a whole quick start guide to that in there. And there's some options for some one-on-one -on -one coaching and consulting. If there's anything I can help with, I'd love to uh, chat with you. But thanks again for watching. Please feel free to like, subscribe, and comment. It really helps as I'm trying to get this channel off the ground. And look out for the next video.